I mean, they have a lot of talent. Obviously, Cam, uh, you got Watt, Dupree. I mean, they just have a lot of talent in the front seven. And now, you know, with some additions, they've got a lot of talent in their back four as well. So, really talented group. Uh, you know, the core has been together for a while, a lot of experience. So, it'll be a, it'll be a challenge for us. I think they kind of attack oriented uh, defense uh, where they just keep coming after you and trying to make a play. Um, and they've been doing a good job of it. Obviously, uh, Fitzpatrick, with the um, late addition there, has made some big plays for him in the weeks since uh, arriving. Um, so, again, like, like I said, it's going to be a challenge for, for all aspects the offensive line, um, for, for the skill position, for Baker, and everybody. We'll have, to, we'll have to play a complete game. On the flip side, you guys have been turning I think just focus, attention to detail. Um, uh, same thing with the penalties. Like that, that's also improved for us. Uh, so I think just you know being more you know attention to detail, focus on what we're supposed to be doing and where we're supposed to be helps all that stuff. Is that like a, just the way the season unfolded back against the wall? Do you think that helped that focus you were talking about? Uh, I'm not sure that. I mean, I, I think, again, like we, we've gotten to the point now where there, there aren't many you know, chances for a step back without us being you know, knocked out. So uh, we really don't have a uh, – there's no tomorrow if, if things don't go well. So I think the, you know, we have to be alert and focused uh, more than ever. But I think that's just something you know, as we grow as a team that becomes more and more a factor. Is facing the Patriots – Given how they leave the league and takeaways help, and the Steelers are one behind them now. Just prepare for that kind of defense. It's so good at that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's more. You know, every, every team's trying to turn you over, uh, and they do some different things uh, in New England and Pittsburgh, and, and vice versa. Um, but a lot of it's just again our preparation and our and our focus on doing what we're supposed to be doing, uh, being in the right spots, you know, protecting the ball. All, all that stuff is just more you know our issues. What's the biggest challenge coming back from Sunday night? Is it more physical, mental? They come to Sunday or Thursday? Uh, I think it kind of depends. So I think if you leave that game on Sunday feeling good without really a nick or a bump anywhere, then it's a, a mental issue of just trying to cram all that work you do in a seven-game uh, or seven-day uh, period into a kind of a three-day period. Uh, if you come out with a nick or you, you get rolled up a little bit, then obviously your back's up against the wall to get there physically. So I think it kind of depends on how you leave that Sunday game. But more often than not, I think it's more of a mental preparation issue than, uh, than a physical issue. Obviously, you wouldn't look past Buffalo, but did you really do any Pittsburgh like, that week? Or no, I, again, like we... we <laughs> We don't have the uh, the chance to, to overlook anybody at this point. We need to we need to take each week one one week at a time and try to win. Go one and zero every week. Um, so so we don't really have the, the choice to, to look past anybody. So how hard is it to mentally prepare for a team in three days? I think a lot of it's taking the you know the initiative to do it your do it yourself. Take your iPad home. Take your playbook home. Uh, all that studying uh, that you would usually do, whether it's an hour extra a day. Now you really have to do you know, three hours today to catch up to where you would like to be. Now today is really you know, almost like a Friday of a normal week. So the way I look at it is I'd like to have the same grasp of the personnel, the, the blitzes, our plays, everything like that. I want to have the same grasp going in tomorrow um, because that's kind of where we are in a regular game week now. What are your thoughts on that? And does anything change with the offensive line assignment wise? Obviously, it was a, a good personnel group for us. I think we we found some success there, um, but nothing changed for us. It's all the same runs, just with different personnel in there, and that's you know what we've done either way, whether it's tight ends or backs or receivers. We have all the same plays that we can get to, um, just with different bodies in there. That was obviously practiced a lot. Yeah. Yep. How, fun, how much fun is it to, to block for two backs like that when they're on the field together? It seems like it opens up a lot, and it's got to be. Seems like it'd be fun and exciting for you. Both both of those guys. If you can just get them to the second level, I mean, they can they can make people miss. And they can, you know, you saw Nick kind of carry a group of people for like 10 yards. I mean, that's those are the type of backs we have, and we're, we're lucky to have them. So, I mean, we look at if we can just give them a, a crease or a crevice that lets them sneak to, sneak through to the second level, every, everything opens up for them. I think everyone knows about Hunt's ability is a, with the ball in his hand mm -hmm. at Kansas City. Days. Yeah. Did he anything surprise you or impress you a little bit more about his blocking? I mean, he really seemed to embrace it. I mean, that was big for us. Being able to you know do that personnel and, and have you know him be a lead blocker for us in some of those uh, was big, and that that's kind of an attitude. Uh, 
issue and an effort issue, and that's something you know from my short time getting to know Kareem. That's that's not something you ever have to worry about. So he, he's whatever whatever the team needs, he'll do. Uh, and I mean, he he showed it. Yeah, I mean, on some of those, we just have to we have to get movement and we have to open up a hole and get them going. And we can we can do some different things, but in, in the end, that's really kind of a rugby scrum down there where you just got to get them moving a little bit and give give the backs a crease to either run through or jump over or whatever it takes. So we, we got to do a better job as the offensive line of, of getting that done. What do you think of what Baker's been able to do? He's been like a huge part of you guys being turnover free the last mm-hmm. couple of games. Yeah. He isn't throwing a pick. Uh, it seems like he maybe is kind of getting on the right track. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we haven't been worried about Baker. There's been a lot of talk outside the building uh, about Baker's play, but I think we understand, you know, looking at it and understanding what's going on that, that it's on all of us and you know getting you know Baker in a rhythm, getting our run game in the rhythm, that's a team wide, offensive wide issue, uh, and you can't just put that on one guy's shoulders. Um, so I, I think when we can get ahead of the down and distance, we don't have a bunch of penalties. We're in second and twenty. All that stuff helps everybody kind of settle in and our offense move more fluidly. So uh, that that's all been you know we, we've seen the the, in, uh, the decrease in penalties which helps our field position, which makes everything easier to convert. Uh, that, that helps the entire offense, and that obviously makes Baker's job a lot easier as well. I know you got confidence on him, but what he showed you in that final drive? Yeah, I mean, we needed that. I mean, we needed, uh, you go into that drive, that's where you, you practice, you know, over and over in training camp and even during the week are those situations where it's how much time is on the clock, how many timeouts do we have, how many yards do we need, do we need a touchdown or a field goal? That's what we go over, you know, every week. So to have one of those drives where we went into it knowing we need seven, we need to go down and score, uh, and then just go to execute all the way down the field uh, was big for us. And uh, you know, big touchdown pass, you know, big for Higgins to to get rolling again, and uh, you know, big for Baker as well to you know get that big drive to kind of kickstart our team. You said earlier you're going to know tomorrow, but just how I mean, obviously you got to like you said you got to keep keep this thing going. Just how huge is it, given the momentum that you know you all guys are should have built with the win over the Bills to, to finally stack the wins to get over that. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that, you know, we have to restart. You kind of, you talk about it a lot with losses where you want to flush the losses. And you also you know, kind of want to flush the wins. Where, you know, we went down to Baltimore and played a great game, and then obviously we come out the next week and, and don't have one of those. So I think we have to go into each week as kind of a, a new endeavor for us and a, and a new challenge. Um, we've got a really tough Pittsburgh team here coming in, and, and you know they were kind of written off early in the year too, and they're kind of playing with that same attitude uh, that that we are uh, of you know we're you know, our backs against the wall. We need to make something happen. Um, so I, I think it's you, you don't you know you can't really rely on momentum. It, it's great just to get some positive stuff flowing, um, but each week's kind of a different challenge, and, and we can't go in thinking that now we've got. You know this momentum behind us that we can just try out there and win. We we've got an absolute battle ahead of us this week, and we have to go and, and face that. Well, with, with what you said about the two teams and where you guys are at and division, and mm-hmm. it's prime time. What kind of atmosphere do you expect? I mean, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I think uh, it'll be a lot of excitement. Uh, I think it'll be a, a kind of a classic AFC North kind of battle. It'll be physical, and uh, I think the weather's going to be. It's going to start getting the cold weather in here. It's going to be going to have all the feel to it.